The year was 1992, when modern space researchers achieved a revolutionary breakthrough. For the first time in history, the existence of three planets orbiting outside the solar system was confirmed. As is well known, the groundbreaking discovery of the celestial bodies in the realms of the pulsar Lich was to be merely the prelude to a large-scale search for planets. In the meantime, researchers have succeeded in detecting more than 5,100 exoplanets in 3,790 systems. In the form of GJ 896 AB, another blank spot was recently erased from the star charts. How astronomers managed to locate this strange world in the Milky Way and what makes this discovery so extraordinary We'll show you in today's video. Want to learn more about the greatest astronomical discoveries of our time on a regular basis? Then subscribe to our channel, activate the bell, and join us on our journey to the greatest mysteries of the cosmos. Show us with a thumbs up that we can engage you with the topics of our videos. Search for Distant Worlds As already mentioned at the beginning, we know now about the existence of more than 5,000 strange planet worlds. However, these discoveries recorded so far are only the tiny tip of a significantly larger astronomical iceberg. Estimates of the unknown planets hiding in our Milky Way alone run into the billions. In view of this, the question arises why researchers have so far only succeeded in detecting a tiny fraction of these countless celestial bodies. Well, this is primarily due to the fact that those planets orbiting another star than the Sun can only be recognized in the rarest of cases, since the corresponding celestial bodies are usually outshone by their parent stars. Experts have to find other ways to unravel the planetary mysteries. One of the most promising indirect detection methods is the so-called transit method. If the orbit of an exoplanet as seen from Earth, is such that it apparently passes in front of its host star. This is indicated by periodic fluctuations in brightness. In order to exclude coincidental backgrounds, astronomers must record three successive transits with equal time intervals between them. As a result of this procedure, scientists are not only able to reveal the actual existence of a planet, but also to draw some basic conclusions about its characteristics. These include not only the orbital period, but also the orbital inclination, the planet's radius, and information regarding temperature, reflectivity, and atmosphere. The probability of observing the passing of a planet by a randomly selected star is given at less than 1%. Against this background, one might think that the hit rate of the transit method is exceedingly low, but the exact opposite is the case. In 2019, about 80% of all exoplanets known to date could be detected in this way. Revealing Wobble In addition to the transit method, there are several other indirect detection methods that have proven themselves over the last three decades. Among them is also the so-called radial velocity method, with the help of which also the exoplanet mentioned at the beginning should be tracked down. Basically, under the influence of gravity, stars and their planetary companions move around their common center of gravity. Due to its significantly larger mass, the central star describes much smaller paths than the planet. Despite this, especially massive exoplanets have a measurable influence on the motion of their parent stars. Due to the size and mass ratios, this effect is comparatively small, but nevertheless, a slight change of the radial velocity of the star can be observed, which indicates the existence of one or more massive planets. The constellations within our solar system are no exception. As mighty Jupiter moves around the Sun, its gravity literally pulls on our host star. As a result, the Sun is always moving a little bit in the direction of the position where Jupiter is currently located. Exciting Discovery While our Sun is still something of a cosmic loner, other dazzlingly bright celestial bodies come together in binary systems. GJ 896 AB also embodies such a gravitationally coupled stellar association and lies about 20.3 light years from our terrestrial home. In order to investigate this exciting constellation in detail, 
the scientists conducted a new review of archived observational data, which had been collected between the years 1941 and 2017. This information was in turn supplemented by the records acquired from 2006 to 2011 by the Very Long Baseline Array, a network of 10 radio telescopes in the United States. It didn't take long before the experts, led by Salvador Curiel, came across a striking circumstance. Together with his team, the astronomer, who was in the service of the National Autonomous University of Mexico, found that one of the two stars appears to wobble slightly as it travels through space. A detailed analysis of the phenomenon revealed that this ominous wobble is due to the presence of a massive exoplanet. In detail, the mass of the celestial body exceeds that of the mighty Jupiter by 2.3 times. Again, briefly for classification, our domestic gas giant is about 2.5 times as massive as all other seven representatives of the planetary system together. To orbit its stellar fixed point once, GJ 896 AB, with a small b at the end, needs just under 285 days. Interestingly, the scientists found that the plane in which the planet orbits is shifted by 148 degrees with respect to the orbital plane of the two stars. In detail, this means that the planetary companion of the main star moves in exactly the opposite direction compared to the secondary star. Why this discovery is of great importance among experts becomes even clearer when we consider that less than 4% of all known exoplanets are at home in binary star systems. On the one hand, this low percentage is due to the fact that it's much more difficult to detect extrasolar worlds in such constellations. However, the models of the scientists also suggest that planet formation in binary systems is much more complicated. The companion star could destabilize the protoplanetary disk, the cosmic cradle of gas and dust in which the celestial body forms. One problem is the time factor. In principle, researchers assume that gas giants need at least 5 to 10 million years to accumulate all their material from the surrounding disk. However, current models suggest that the lifespan of a protoplanetary disk in a binary system is less than 1 million years. Subsequently, the gravitational forces of the companion star cause the annular disk structure to break apart. However, the existence of the discovered exoplanet becomes even more astonishing when we realize that the stellar components are also red dwarfs. Basically, the researchers do not assume that these smallest stars have the necessary amount of raw material to enable the formation of gas giants. Apparently, however, reality seems to throw a wrench in the scientist's theory. For example, the mere presence of GJ 896 AB suggest that planets may form differently within binary star systems than previously thought. More detailed studies of this and similar systems should help to gain important insights into the formation of planets in binary systems in the future. However, we should not forget at this point that the formation of those planets that merely orbit a star is still accompanied by some big question marks. The Riddle of the Planet Birth the exact processes that ultimately lead to the birth of new celestial bodies within the protoplanetary disk are still not completely deciphered. Basically, the scientists distinguish here between two theories. On the one hand, there is the model of coagulation and accretion. As simulations show, interstellar dust particles can coagulate, that is, unite to form larger flakes. But there are some processes such as fragmentation or rebound, which hinder the growth. However, it is also clear that as soon as the bundled dust particles have reached a diameter of a few millimeters, the clumps steadily accumulate further material as a result of their gravitational force. This process practically intensifies itself over time. The larger a clump is, the faster it also accumulates further components, with the result that larger bodies consequently expand more rapidly than smaller ones. However, there comes a time when the now mountain-sized planetary progenitors have used up the surrounding dust supply. From then on, further growth is based on collisions. In the case of gas planets, these would continue to grow by gas accretion from already formed rocky bodies. 
The second model concerning the planet formation hears on the name gravitational instability. Here, the matter agglomerations, which pave the way for the planet birth, are the result of compressions, which fulfill the so-called genes criterion. This says that a cosmic gas cloud collapses and from it, a large celestial body can develop if its mass exceeds the so-called genes mass. This model is consulted in particular for the formation of gas planets. Thanks to the spiral density instabilities, it would be possible for these planetary colossi to form within 1,000 years. However, experts still do not know exactly how these instabilities are caused. Furthermore, most researchers do not believe that the two models must be mutually exclusive. Thus, it's conceivable that rocky planets are formed by the accumulation of cosmic building blocks, while the birth of gas giants is due to gravitational instabilities. And now it's time for your opinion. What do you think about the exciting discovery of the exoplanet making its orbits in a binary star system? And what goes through your mind in view of the different planet formation models? As always, drop us your thoughts, suggestions, and feedback on today's video in the comments below. Are you in the mood for more exciting articles on the topic of outer space? Then take a look at the other videos on our channel, which you can access by clicking on one of the images in the credits. Thanks for your interest, take care, and we'll see you next time.